Guys, quick, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds. Otherwise, a massive spider is going to be waiting for you in your bed tonight when you go to sleep. Don't risk it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to head into our second official season here in Chapter 2 of Fortnite Battle Royale. Which, yes, obviously that is exciting news in and of itself. We have a brand new battle pass coming, a new event, new map changes, and all sorts of things like that. But technically, as we get deeper and deeper into the chapter, and as we see more new seasons come and go, we are actually getting closer to the end of Fortnite. And yes, the end is coming sooner than you might think, as the final season of Fortnite is on the horizon. We've seen 11 seasons go live in the past, and we've got a 12th season coming up here very, very soon. But how long is it going to be until Fortnite Battle Royale as we know it comes to a close? Well, today we're actually going to be breaking that down for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned to find out when Fortnite is ending and what is going to happen when it actually does. If you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like rating on it. And now without further ado, let's get into the end of Fortnite Battle Royale. So just to preface, Fortnite is most likely not going to be ending for at least a few more seasons. Unless all of a sudden Epic runs into some absolutely major legal trouble, or the servers just literally spontaneously combust out of nowhere, we've got a few more seasons guaranteed, especially considering that Chapter 2 just got underway. But Fortnite has been live for a few years already, and it's not all that often that games nowadays are able to have any kind of decent lifespan, as players just seem to have lower attention spans now. So to see Fortnite still going as strong as it is 2 plus years down the road is honestly pretty impressive. But here's the thing, this hype is not going to last forever. Fortnite Battle Royale is going to end sooner or later. And with the way things seem to be headed right now, the end could be coming up here within this chapter. We can't assume that the chapters in Fortnite will span 10 seasons. We saw seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and X, or 10, within chapter 1. So who's to say that season 10 in chapter 2 won't be the final season before we transition into chapter 3, if we even make it that far? The way I see it, Fortnite is not just going to randomly end on chapter 2 season 3 or chapter 2 season 7 or some random number like that, but rather something a bit more standard like season 15 or chapter 2 season 5 technically, or maybe even season 20 which would technically be the final season in chapter 2 or season 10. Like, just throwing it out there, not that many things, television, movies, or really anything out there, lasts for 20 plus seasons without either dropping significantly in viewer numbers or just turning into a hot pile of trash because it's so overdone. So if I had to guess, Chapter 3 of Fortnite Battle Royale might not even exist, at least not in this game. We'll touch more on that later though. Anyways, Chapter 2 Season 5 or Chapter 2 Season 10 seem like the most likely times in which Fortnite could come to a close just based off of what seems to be the most normal way to go about it. But of course, Fortnite being Fortnite and Epic Games being Epic Games, nothing is ever that simple. Which is why whenever Fortnite does end, Season 15, Season 20, whenever it may be, we are probably going to see some kind of massive in-game event to say goodbye to the game. And when I say massive, I mean literally the biggest event in Fortnite Battle Royale history. The events that we've seen in the past have all been pretty significant, all things considered, but when you look back at the first events of the rocket launch and even up to the Ice Storm event, those don't seem nearly as extravagant compared to what we saw with, say, the Final Showdown battle or even the end event last season. Those two events in particular were nearly mini-movies in a sense with how they played out, which means the final event of Fortnite Battle Royale would put those events to shame in terms of its overall extravagance and just the wow factor in general. This finale event would be, well, an actual finale event in the sense of the game ending, but also, without a doubt, the biggest event the game has ever seen. We saw the island sucked into a black hole back during the end event in Season X, but if Fortnite were to ever officially come to an end for good, I have no doubt that the new Apollo map as we know it would be completely and utterly destroyed, leaving no potential option but for the game to end. And this could happen in a few different ways. We could see some kind of monster even bigger and even stronger than the Polar Peak one come to the island and just rampage around destroying everything and anything in sight. 
We could see some kind of environmental event where a massive tidal wave comes and floods the island, submerging it underwater. We could see an earthquake shred the island apart, or maybe something else entirely. The sheer amount of ways that the island could be destroyed are seemingly endless, and with Epic's creative team, I'm sure that meeting would be quite a fun one by the time it was all said and done. Anyways, the finale event, the final event of Fortnite Battle Royale, would definitely be a catastrophic one, and one that sends the game off on a perfect note. And I assume it would run very similar to how the end event did last season, where at the very end, something happens that causes our screens to go black, or causes the game to do something where we can no longer access the menus or load up the game to anything but that specific screen. And that is where the Fortnite servers will eventually go offline. But that would only happen if something else took its place, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is where Fortnite 2 comes into play. The idea of Fortnite 2 releasing has been in the air for a very, very long time now. Many people thought it would happen at the end of Season X, when the end event was officially announced. Because, well, it was called the end event, we all thought that it meant Fortnite would be ending and perhaps a new game would take its place. But, lo and behold, that obviously did not happen, which leaves the door open for Fortnite 2 to replace Fortnite 1 a little later on down the road, which we can only assume is going to happen if the servers for Fortnite ever go offline. But I feel like that has to happen if Fortnite 2 is ever going to release. When it comes down to it, Fortnite is a game above all other games. Its player base, its viewer numbers, everything about it is monstrously huge. So if another Fortnite game were to come out and release while Fortnite was still active and online, that would then ultimately split the player base. You'd have the group of people who would flock to Fortnite 2 and play that day in and day out, then you would have the group of people who would maybe try out Fortnite 2 and just not feel it as much and go back to Fortnite 1, or some people would just simply stay on Fortnite 1 because they enjoy it for what it is. Either way though, and whatever the case may be, Fortnite and Epic Games and the shareholders do not want to have that split player base. The more people you have on one game at a time, the better. The more people you have watching one game at a time, the better. When you have people split between one game and the other, that equates to lower numbers all around, both for the player count and also for the viewer counts on various streaming platforms and even on videos here on YouTube as well. So if the servers were to stay online for Fortnite, even after we get some kind of crazy goodbye events, then Fortnite 2 probably is not going to be coming out for quite some time. However, if we get some kind of goodbye event and that were to happen, and suddenly the servers didn't come back online for two or three or four days later, then who knows, Epic might have a few tricks up their sleeve to surprise the community with a brand new edition of Fortnite. Now, you may have noticed that earlier on in the video, I said that we might not even see a Chapter 3 in Fortnite as we know it right now. But if Fortnite 2 were to release, and it saw a Battle Royale mode with different seasons, then technically we would be in Chapter 3 of Fortnite Battle Royale in general, it just wouldn't be under the same exact game. Which might cause some confusion here and there, but in the grander scheme of things, it could still boil down to staying under the larger Fortnite umbrella. So, Fortnite 2 will really dictate if and when Fortnite comes to a close, in my own opinion. And with that, one last thing that I do want to say about the matter is that the end of Fortnite likely will not be some major surprise. If I had to guess, we'll probably see some clues and some mentions of the game ending long before it actually does. That way, everyone's not completely blown away when they suddenly can no longer log on to the game. So, what do you think the end of Fortnite is going to be like? Will it happen at the end of Chapter 2? Will it only happen when Fortnite 2 is ready to go live? Or will the end of Fortnite never actually come? Be sure to drop your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, let us know by dropping a like on it, giving it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on. That way you'll always know when a new video goes live. As always, by joining the notification squad, every time we post a new video, YouTube will actually send you a message letting you know we've gone live. That way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new upload. With all of that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for now. So thanks so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.